Hey guys, this is probably one of the most intense x World matches I had in a while. I saw that x World got adjusted recently, so I just wanted to try him out and see how much better or worse he is now. Because their jungler was Jawhead, I decided to start with the orange buff first. Like I've said before, Jawhead players love to steal the opponent's orange buff at the start of the game. This night I wanted to delay my farm, or possibly steal my buff. But she chose the wrong target to bully. <laughs> First blood. Our Novari has a pretty good aim with her flame shot. While this happened, their jungler made a pretty good move. He was waiting in the bush for a marksman in the bot lane. Instead of going bot to gain their jungler, I probably should have just gone for the turtle. This was definitely a poor in-game decision on my part, but it is what it is, you learn as you play. Nana is an absolute pain in the butt right now. Born in fire. Again. Nana is so annoying right now that I think she's worth banning. Those flame shots though. <laughs> Their marksmen have been farming pretty well. Each of his basic attacks really packs a punch. To my surprise, I was also farming pretty decently as well since I already got two core items. But I needed to farm faster or I won't be able to sustain as much and my team really needed that because we are quite squishy as you can tell from our draft. We got 3 magic damage dealers, not the most balanced composition per se. This was looking pretty dicey. Good trade. Now I can even take down their bot turret. The 
They know they're in driver's seat, so they are playing pretty aggressively. Actually, my farming speed was pretty decent. I had almost the same amount of farm as their marksman. They were definitely getting quite cocky, since they require head. But we have seen this movie many times already. Once you start letting your guard down because you underestimate your opponents, that's when the table turns. But not yet, they are still more fed than us. By the way, every time before I play export, I really need to remind myself that you can use the second skill while ulting. I seriously don't know why I keep forgetting about it. This why trying to play a different hero all the time sometimes makes you forget about the little changes. Forget about the others, we need to take the Lord ASAP before the jungler is back. We just need to focus on the Lord, we got the retribution and they don't. Amazing. Arigato solo the jungler. Now it's my turn to do something. The game is very close. The marksman play a crucial role now. From now on, the side that loses their marksman first is probably gonna lose the team fight. Got time to care about the suffering of others. Our marksman has full HP. I'm gonna wait for Alpha to use his all on her first, and that's when I will engage. Alpha is not a one-shot hero, so there was not much of a risk of her getting killed there. This is what you call a calculated risk.
What a bummer. If only had secured the lord there, this probably would have been the game. Actually, I did this intentionally because this game was just too good to end right away. Winky face. Okay, maybe that mistake is gonna cost us the game. Luckily, we are able to even this out in the end. This Johe was seriously underestimating X for damage. I just wanted to do the Lord, but I saw my teammates kept chasing, so I had no choice but to join them. That was fortunate, but still, we missed a golden opportunity there. These are not fireflies, they're like dancing flames! Johe didn't learn his lesson. They gotta defend, so this time we should be able to take the Lord with ease. Ixia doesn't know how to freeze lanes, so they can all be pushed at the same time. He's pushing the mid lane way too early. Although it wasn't the smoothest export gameplay on my part, this was still a pretty interesting and intense match. I like when the game has a lot of back and forth. Victory! Anyway, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. See you in the next one.